to say on behalf of all the artists in Muskogee Nation, we've been waiting for this moment for a long time. So all the artists get together and are acknowledged here on Muskogee territory. And I'm honored to uh, have participated. I drove nine hours to be here today. I'm far away, but I'm always from here. How's it going? Uh, my name is George Alexander. I'm a Muskogee Creek Indian. I currently reside in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, this is my piece right here. Uh, it's called Don't Call My Name. Uh, it was, the title is actually inspired by a song that I was listening to while I was painting it. Um, it was a song by this band called Skin Shape. And I looked at her gaze and it sort of like inspired me to, to name it after this song. The series is inspired by uh, self-discovery and like the more that we identify and to discover ourselves, the more that we can actually contribute back within our own communities. So here we see these abstract mark makings and the figures actually coming together because she's still young and she's still trying to discover who she's meant to be. <laughs> I saw an ad on Instagram and um, I applied and that's exactly how I got in. Uh, I'm super excited because I mean, this is my tribe and to have them start a market I think is spectacular. You know, being out in Santa Fe and uh, at dominating the contemporary native art market, I'm happy to find out that we're trying to compete with uh, the, the, the West. And I hope that this competitiveness rises the, the art world a little bit higher and it gets us into the mainstream if we're not there already. The thing that the Santa Fe Indian market has that we don't is just the uh, consistency and the longevity of the market. Um, we actually have their buyers already here. The collectors that want to invest into Native art, they don't have to go to Santa Fe no more. They can stay right in Oklahoma and look at the contemporary Native art that's being created here in Oklahoma. And yeah, I, I would say that that's our main strength is that most of the buyers, the collectors, um, they're from Texas and Oklahoma. And then they go all the way up there. Well, they don't have to anymore. They can just stay here. I recently got into a major show that I can't talk about yet. And so some of the pieces that are inspired by that show, other pieces are inspired by uh, my connection with humanity, which is my astronaut series. Others are inspired by healing. And then some are just kind of fun pieces that I just wanted to explore. I would say since this is a beginning show, this is the first one, I, I would give this an A+. Plus. I mean, it's it's been tremendous. Uh, the paperwork wasn't difficult. Getting my pieces in the show wasn't difficult. I had tremendous help bringing my booth up, which never happens at booth shows. You know, usually you're the one bringing it in and out of your things. So I would say Creek Nation definitely nailed it on the head with uh, the accommodations to bring things in and out. Um, I'm sure there's room for improvement. It's only the first day. In fact, it's not even the real first day. So there might be other things that I need to look for. Um, one thing that I would say is maybe more of a promotion type of deal. Uh, try to push um, more promoting, not just on social media, but like major magazines such as Southwest Contemporary, Native Art Magazine, American uh, First American, which I'm sure they probably ran ads and I just didn't see them. Um, but promoting the, 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 the market would probably be more beneficial. Uh, first and foremost, my five sisters. Uh, without them, I probably wouldn't have made it this far in my life. Um, and then my mentor, Tony Abeda, my other mentor, Kenneth Johnson, um, my uh, fellowship, Creative Futures. Uh, thank you all for, for supporting me and making me get this far. And also, I can't forget the Institute of American Indian Arts. Um, without them, I'm truly blessed. I'm very fortunate to be an alumni of the Institute of American Indian Arts.